Um, I actually filmed this intro already, but I was I was too lazy to wear um, this blouse because the buttons are very hard to do. Up. And also, you can kind of, if you look closely, which you shouldn't, um, I need to kind of redo them a little bit because the chains on the outside are falling off. Anyway, um, I decided that I should just put it on because I'm already procrastinating. So uh, I should just do my best at procrastinating. Um, so here I am. Um, this is the sort of finished product, the bodice. Um, I didn't button all the way through because as I said, I don't like buttons. But in general, I do like this blouse a lot, uh, and the reason being that it is green, uh, it makes me look like a beetle. It also really reminds me of something what Mrs. Danvers would wear in Rebecca, and yeah, I like it a lot. The only reason why I haven't posted this in so long is number one, I've been really busy at school, um, which is actually not really the good reason because I actually posted another vid like two or three more videos, like after the making of the skirt for this one. Um, I think the bigger reason was just that after just doing this, I was just kind of done with it. Even though I liked, uh, I liked the process of making it, and I also liked the finished product. I just kind of because it's you know for the the foundation of the competition, I sort of like just kind of was like okay, I'm I'm just so done with it. I do not. So I submitted my application, did not watch, um, I did not care to really promote it even. Um, I don't think I promoted it at all. Uh, like that I that I joined the competition or like the link that you could submit to vote. Anyway, um, obviously so that got no way. Also, if you see that I have a tan line here, it's because I did not wear gloves when I was horse riding, which is yeah, that's not, that's not a good thing. Um, and Prisissi would be very very unhappy with that. Anyway, uh, I'm just digressing a lot because I don't want to. I don't know what else to say about this bodice and other than the fact that I'm done with it. I like it, I've worn it a lot. I need to, I need to kind of fix the buttons but that's really the only thing. Uh, everything else about the blouse is fine. Um, yeah, I've worn it with other things as well. Nothing else to say. I like it. I think I've probably said it like 10 times in this video and uh, yeah, so we'll go to the making of this video. So as you can see from the previous clip, I actually didn't cut this out um, properly, quote unquote properly, because I decided to, well I mean not really decided, most people who do pin tucks on the front, they usually keep a very rough, you know, it's a rough shape of what it looks like so that it gives you more room to sort of make mistakes with pin tucks just in case, which is what I did in the end. And then I sort of traced, um, sort of marked where the pin tucks would roughly be and then measured with um, my giant quilting ruler as, and, and then drew it out with chalk. Um, in the next clip, you'll kind of see that this may not have been the best idea because the chalk sometimes leaves a residue, but I think with silk, you can sort of wash it off and also you can kind of see that my camera is tilting a little bit, but uh, oh well. Okay, so I just did one side and uh, I used white coloured pencil draw the lines and I don't think I'm going to do that for the next one um, because I had to go wash it uh, and there you can still kind of see um, the white residue. Um, but I don't know whether if I use chalk 
I will because I have it has to be on the outside. I will <laughs> show you a video of this, but um, yeah. Now I have to go stress eat some chips. So as you can see in this clip here, later I will sort of show you the sewing lines, but I'm just kind of folding it along the line. So um, if there's three lines, I make the first and third line touch, and then that then you will see a little pin tuck. I think that's what I did. Um, it's been a while, so I don't really quite remember, but I think I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Um, yeah, and then I just kind of fold it, pin it, sew it, and then check it to make sure it's fine, and move on to the next one. Um, I didn't really count. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I planned very well how many pin tucks I wanted, but I think it turned out okay. Although, if I could do this again, I would probably shift the start the pin tucking closer to the armhole because it ended up just that uh, like the buttonholes kind of got into the mix. Anyway, um, yeah. While I just sew this, and you see me sewing, uh, I kind of just want to talk about the fact that. I have now graduated, well not graduated, actually I'm still on in the process of finishing like two of my essays and I still have an exam to do, but technically school's over for me, which is so strange, like four years of university have just passed by. Um, yeah, I, I'm just kind of like sitting in it, uh, sitting in this moment and just kind of thinking about it. Um, I've been having really weird dreams about university lately, which is so strange. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit better uh, at first I was really sad because like leaving my quote unquote leaving my friends and my lecturers and like the people who've really made the past four years such a nice, nice time for me and really th taught me a lot. But you know, life moves on and uh, I don't think it would be it would have been nice to stay any longer than I should have. Yeah, actually that's an interesting thought. In in ugh. It's an interesting thought that you know shouldn't have over shouldn't overstay my welcome so to speak but yeah uh anyway here i am actually just showing you how the sleeve works so i have i know that was a very brief clip but uh the sleeve head so the big puffy part of the sleeve has interfacing in it um just to make it puffy and here i'm just making these cursed buttons i hate them so much uh i would would I have done this? I don't know. Because I like the look of it, but it's annoying. It is so annoying. Anyway, yeah, and then here I'm just showing you how I'm sort of folding it over such that you can't see the lining. Um, but I'm pretty sure people have done better than me. So, I haven't really been updating you guys. <laughs> but um, the blouse is done. Um... I'm currently trying to kind of do this on both sides. I might actually do only one side if I only don't have much time. Um, I did the sleeves. Okay, I I didn't do it quite so well, but you can see that I actually just folded them up and then sewed them from the outside because that was the only way I knew how because I bag lined the sleeves. Um, I won't do that again. That was stupid. <laughs> and then I also managed to somehow cut one side of the skirt shorter than the other. So obviously this side is shorter. So I've just kind of um, put some black lace to kind of hide the length, but. I don't know whether it'll make it worse, but I think it looks okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. I mean, to be honest, you can't really see it even now because, you know, it's not. It's at the back anyway. So, and then I've done the snaps and they look pretty okay. And then this is where um, the bar will go and then I have to do the hook. So, to be honest, I'm actually almost done. Um, I could actually kind of try it on for you guys. So it's coming along. The skirt is a lot more done than the top, obviously. Um, still quite a lot done to, to the top. Um, I have to do the collar, which means I have to finish sewing on more beetle wings. And I might actually just sew on more beetle wings to the cuffs as well, because they look a little bit short. Um, 
and then there'll be the buttons and then there'll be some at the shoulders as well so I mean it's coming along to be honest I'm quite happy um, I only have one more day to be honest to finish everything so And also finally, I'm just showing you a lot more hand sewing. The problem with hand sewing is that, which I've maybe sort of found a solution to, which is to get an overhead uh, tripod. Because if you can see here, um, I'm pretty sure I'm gripping the camera with my knees and trying to film a good shot of me hand sewing, which never goes well. First of all, once you turn the camera on, your sewing skills just go to shit. Um, and you can see here how I'm also trying to keep it in shot, which is very difficult. So the combination of all these things means you get a terrible shot of me hand sewing, and also I don't have a nice time doing it, which like these things are already so fiddly that after a while I kind of just gave up. Like it's not in shot, fine, it's not gonna be in shot. Um, yeah, this hand sewing was not the most enjoyable. As you can see, I just ang re angled the camera. I, I really don't know how I was holding it, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I'm some things just have to be done. Uh, and I kind of made it such that I didn't... So I made the least amount of hand sewing work possible with these. The thing is, I still have so many of these beetle wings left over, and I really, really want to use them again. But there is no... I feel like... Maybe if I get one of those um, hand like embroidery mounts, maybe it will work out a little bit easier. Because this, as you can see, the the string keeps getting trapped in um, in like the lacing like gaps and holes and stuff like that, and really drives me insane. Um, but you know, sewing sometimes your hobbies really infuriate you, and I was so glad to be done. Uh, and yeah, I. I will probably end off, I say probably, like I don't know what's going on. I will end off, I'm, I think I'm watching Taskmaster here. Yeah, anyway, I will end off um, with showing you the insides of both uh, the blouse and the skirt. And then, yeah, and then it'll be done. But yeah, I, I think I'm watching Taskmaster here. I'm not sure why I decided to leave this part in. But yeah, look, pretty. It's so glowy. I love these so much. Um, yeah, Beetle Wings just rock. So since I've worn this for quite a while, um, after making this, I suppose that I can kind of show you, although there's not really much to show, but I'll just kind of show you the inside, I suppose. Um, I did end up adding a hook here. There was no bar because I realized, because I'm all about sort of lazy life, <laughs> I don't like doing things if I don't have to, um, I can just hook it into like one of the knitting holes over here. And it works pretty well, sometimes it, get caught, it gets caught, but I feel like a bar would also kind of fairly do the same thing. Um, and then here are all the buttons. I can't remember if there was supposed to be a button here and then I took it off. I think I took it off eventually, but all the buttons uh, are all actually miraculous, mira uh, miraculously all staying on, which uh, I can't ask for more. Some of them tend to like shift um, a bit weird, like they end up doing this like sideways instead of this. Um, but you know, uh, whatever. The pin tucks are holding up really well. Um, I really like this, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I don't know whether it probably seemed like I didn't when I was making it. And also the fact that I took so bloody long time to put this up. But I do actually like this a lot. I've worn this quite a few times actually. And strangely enough, these ones are fine. So uh, the beetle wings, they are not the most, they are not super brittle. 
but they're also not the strongest things. Uh, and you can see this thing here. But you know, this is honestly the cleanest that my that my uh, sort of insides of my clothing have ever looked so far. So, and yeah, I can couldn't be couldn't be bothered honestly. But yeah, this is the shirt, shirt blouse. So I don't know whether you can see, but this is the skirt, and these two. Uh, tops have kind of fallen off and I have a feeling it's not actually because I wore them and you know I hit something but it's because I tend to uh, store my clothes on the hanger so the skirt is folded onto the hanger and this is sort of like the pressure point so um, yeah not doing that anymore <laughs> but yeah this is the um, skirt there's a safety pin here because I I was like I was lacing down my corset a lot and then my waist got smaller um, and then these, I like putting snaps at the back of my skirts because they are the closures that I don't mind doing. Uh, they're least, the least fiddly and uh, they do the job really well. So, haha. -ha. I ain't, I ain't bothered, as Cat and Tate would say. Um, but yeah, anyway, I like both of these things very much. Things very much. And, uh, yeah. So I had real fun making them. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say, but yeah, thank you. Bye.